A price hike that could impact really everyone. The Wall Street Journal is reporting Moderna is considering more than quadrupling the price of its COVID vaccine. This would all come when the company is shifts from its government contracts to putting the vaccine out on the commercial market. Elizabeth Cohen is joining us now. She has more details on what this could mean for everyone involved. Elizabeth, what's going on here? Kate, this means the most for people who are uninsured or underinsured. If you have insurance, your insurance is going to pay uh, for this vaccine. And I guess in the end, we all sort of pay for that. But you as a patient won't be paying directly for the vaccine. But for the uninsured and the underinsured, this is going to be a lot more money. Let's take a look. So while this has been a vaccine that was purchased by the federal government, the federal government was paying about $26 a dose. Now Moderna is saying they're going to raise it once it's a commercial uh, enterprise, and I'll get to that in a second, to between $110 and $130. And Pfizer has also named that price range. Now, there are various programs to help people with those kinds of, with, with that kind of, uh, you know, charge for a vaccine. But still, that can be quite a bit. Now, we don't know when this price range will go up. The federal government just now extended the public health emergency for another 90 days. So it, looked like, it looks like it might be a while before those prices go up. And Kate, the timing on this is really interesting. CNN today has exclusive reporting that shows that this booster, the one that they're going to be raising the prices for, there was data back in June that showed it actually didn't necessarily work as well as the original as the original shot that's been on the market, you know, being used for years now, that the new one may really not work any better than the one that's out there and that that data was not presented to vaccine advisors when they met to confer and advise the FDA and the CDC. Kate? So interesting. All right, Elizabeth, thank you so much for that. Joining me right now is Senator Bernie Sanders. He's the incoming chair of the Senate Health, Education, Labor and Pensions Committee, of course. Senator, thanks for coming in. You wrote a letter to Moderna well, about this, and in this you called the price hike that they're considering outrageous. I also want to read for you what we at least so far have heard from Moderna about this. The CEO telling the Wall Street Journal on Monday, I would think this type of price is consistent with the value of the vaccine. Have you heard anything back from Moderna? Not yet. Uh, but look, what you're seeing here in Moderna is the tip of the iceberg in terms of what goes on with the pharmaceutical industry. We pay by far the highest prices in the world for prescription drugs. In some cases, 10 times more the same exact drug sold in other countries. In terms of Moderna, here's the story. This vaccine was discovered in partnership with the NIH, with a government agency supported by the taxpayers of this country. In addition, the government put $1.9 billion into research and development for Moderna and then guaranteed Moderna billions of dollars in sales. And then as a thank you to the taxpayers of this country, what Moderna says is after we deplete the government supply of free vaccines, they're gonna quadruple the price of that vaccine. And meanwhile, they're gonna charge whatever it is, 110 bucks a vaccine. It costs them about $2 to produce that vaccine. And then on top of all of that, in the last few years, since this vaccine has been on the market, you got the CEO of the company making billions of dollars, becoming a multi-billionaire, as well as other executives. So the taxpayers of this country who put money into the vaccine in order to protect the health and lives of the American people are now creating billionaires in an industry, in a company, that it's going to quadruple prices for the American people. That is outrageous. That is unacceptable. And we've got to do something about that. You've noted, and also Elizabeth Cohen was just explaining it as well, that not all Americans are going to be paying out of pocket for this. You, you've Medicare, Medicaid, right. and other government health care plans. They'll continue right. to cover the cost of vaccines for patients. Correct. So I wonder, from your perspective, you say you need to do something about this. What is an acceptable solution to you? Well, Kate, let's be clear. Medicare and Medicaid will pay for it. We'll, we'll cover the, the individual, but they're going to have to pay the higher price and that costs taxpayers money and then you got you know tens of millions of americans who are uninsured or underinsured and there is no private insurance company medicare medicaid is on, are not going to cover them they're going to have to pay uh, out of pocket uh you know i think the bottom line here is that we are looking at strategies in how to deal with it but 
I think the area we have got to focus on is if the taxpayers of this country put money through the NIH into developing a drug, and it's certainly not just the COVID vaccine, many cancer drugs as well, should they then be forced to pay the highest prices in the world for a drug which they help develop? And I think the answer is obviously no. So if taxpayers are going to pay for the research and development, they need to make sure that the product being produced is affordable. We'll wait and see how Moderna responds. Uh, we're, we, we, CNN, we are seeking um, comment from Moderna on this one as well.